All right. Hello, everyone, to the Animators Hill Definitive Edition Showcase, uh, exclusive to the Vortex Charity Stream. I'll just be doing a quick run through of everything new that is public to this demo and showcasing off how the game is looking so far. First thing I'll show is all the mugshots, lightens. You may see some new faces, some faces that are revamped. And all in all, everything is looking rather fresh. You may notice that as I click more of these on, the music in the background is getting more and more to it. We had some vocals added. Flame in the background gets st stronger with the more characters that are on. Drums kicking in. And keep in mind, this isn't even all the characters yet. You have difficulties now, so this is accessible to everyone. So you're just a more casual player, or if you like taking that challenge. Of course, we have the modifiers. And offices. I'll just be starting by showcasing some of familiar faces that have a bit of new light to them. Whether that be a model change, some sort of visual difference, and yeah. Of course, as I said, this was for the Vortex Charity stream. If the stream is still active, do feel free to donate to the Rainforest Trust. It'd be greatly appreciated. Just a little plushy for that stream. Let's take a quick look around the place. See some places looking fresh. Tangle has a flashing eye whenever the time is not correct. Tangle has a... Tangle? Pixel has a little bit of different mechanic, now being a tape of sorts, I'll call it. The vents now have snares, so you can block incoming enemies. Abigail and Tranquility are a bit different, requiring you to flash them once they get there. You may have noticed that characters, like Tynado there, left instantly. Leave timers have been adjusted. There is Shadows. Shadows has his new model looking spiffy. There's Comet with his new model, also looking spiffy. Oh. That was Apskull. Pixel is now mad, indicated by the eye, in which case you must switch the tape. You have all three spiders. The amazing spider animation is now back. I want to showcase Ewok melting real quick. He wants that temperature gets over 90. She will start gradually melting, as you can see here. There she goes. Eventually nothing but a mask that can freely fly towards you. Alright, now on to the new characters. And some of these lads here. Not all new characters are present, because not all new characters are revealed. I'll also be switching to the arcade office just to quickly show that off. Alright, so here's the arcade office. Of course with your lovely music. Some plushies for Sibno, Sibno, however it is pronounced, I do not know. Here is Jams, a weeping angel type character due to him being a stone statue, or them a stone statue. Here we have Crackit coming up the elevator, as you can see this is now hooked at floor 7. That winds up to all the way to 1. Then that's not good. So make sure to prevent that from happening by turning on the elevator icon here. You have Crike peeking through. Not Crike, uh, Cryos. Sorry, there's a lot of names now. Crike, you can hear crawling around right now. It's about to stop him right, right here, I believe. Yep. Here you can see that switched to 6. Since Crike stopped, close the corresponding door that they stopped at. That noise indicates Spence is present, so here he is. You just have to hold your light on him, then he'll go away. The generator here, you see, has a little icon. Actually, if you were keen, you would have been able to see a radicor on the camera, which means that caused him to come to my left side door. If you see him on the camera, he will approach the closest door from the camera path. A Plymic is approaching the generator. In which case, Hyplamic will start diddle daddling with it, making you lose power quicker. There's Sibna. Oh yeah. 
Wore them off. That's an audio cue. Hear the Radicor. Jams is approaching. There's Spence again. This time we're gonna let Spence do his thing though. What happens if you don't flash him? Well, let me tell you. I think it's fun. Think of George. Remember him from Demo 2? But on crack. Jams is over here now. You can see that. There's a Radicor again. The cross will hold open the door. Right now I can't close it until flashing away. Floor one. He's almost arrived. Ding. Uh oh. That means we're screwed. But Cracky comes in first. Or not. Temporary jump scare. I will leave jams on those in case. We'll hop into the mansion office. I'll also turn on ready. Looking quite spiffy. A little bit old, perhaps. I really love the vents of this office, they're great. One thing about this office is that it also includes flashes of lightning. Flash thunder. Anyways, there's Reddy coming in. Red hot, looking spiffy. My new phrase, looking spiffy. And one of my favorite things that was recently added. When characters are closest, they leave practically right away. Jams is almost arrived. Tis just a matter of time. Gonna keep flipping until... There you are. So this is our final stare down with Jams. Where Jams will get closer and closer. Until eventually, it's game over. To those that don't like Weeping Angels, this is probably horrible. And that's why it's fantastic. Right? Right. Okay, and one of the other things that was showing off in the trailer was the Anomaly minigames. Noted, sir. Basically, you're feeding them a picture until it provides some reaction. Rocket's case being his eyeball looking towards you. You must do a quick mini game three times to get a uh, antidote. Stabby stab. Bam. Now they are in your possession. This time we'll look at Hyplamic. Mainly because Hyplamic wanted to see theirs. But we'll provide. Oh, the eyeball and the hat moved that time. So what if you provided another picture? Oops. Look at a Radicor. I think I'll make this the last one we look at then. Just so that you know, once this game is in, your guys' hands, however far into the future, you can find out some of the cues for yourself. Oh, there he goes. 
John. Yoink. And dead. Well, that's it. Other than modifiers, which are also teasing the trailer. There's only two that can actually be used here. Since actually, I could also do fragile gas, gla glass, glass, <laughs> and mad comet. But uh, the basement isn't fully finished yet, so we're ignoring that aspect. Fragile glass is just weaker glass, so we don't need to use that right now. But for arachnophobia, if you have spider on, you turn it on. All three spiders, 3D pack. I can show you in one second. You are forced to play with all three spiders. How fun! And if you have arachnophobia, how fun! And now we have to wait for our best friend Zap Lord so we can show off Greedy Pack real quick. There we go. Typically with Zap Lord, when you collect the first fruit, then you're done. But when you have Greedy Pack on, you have to get two fruits to finish the mini game. That's real fun. And I imagine that'll be really awful once you have all characters alive. So, yeah. Anyways, to end it off, let's give this an attempt. Just one meaty attempt. What can go wrong? A lot is the answer. I didn't turn the modifier off. <laughs> oh, a lot can go wrong. Okay. Okay. Um. I am not ready for this. I forgot about Greedy Pack. Before ending it off, I was also given one more thing. A folder from Lil Fox that has a note. Hello there, this is the secretary. Blake wanted me to show off some behind the scenes with character design. Have fun. Uh, if you don't know Lil Fox, she is a really good artist and does a lot of the concept art for anime herself. This folder is simply called Bonathan, so I'll just page through, take a pause if you would like. One of them doesn't quite belong, you tell me which. Uh-huh. None. We have one called Crackit. Did it say I can't draw? <laughs> Did it? I think so, on one of the drawings. Ah, uh, see that sounds like Lil Fox, which I don't <laughs> get, because she's cracked at art. Let me, let me double check. Bonathan. No render, have a fox though. Uh, oh, no, no it's on the picture itself. Yeah. I can't draw. Oh. I can't draw heads. Oh. I see. <laughs> Alright, we have Hyplamic. A lot of Hyplamic, I remember that from this room. I really like Hyplamic's design. Ooh. Which, as I said earlier, I think it's because of the tentacles. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I like. <laughs> All the limbs. Bird! Bird! <laughs> Look at its eyes. It's so cute. He looks high. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so derpy? <laughs> oh. Ooh. There's high flamic. Very nice. We have a radicor. The other one I like for the same reason of limbs. Look at that. That's awesome. That looks very stabbable. Indubitably. Oh, I don't like no? any legs. And then the last folder being Spencer. ML Spence himself. They're kissing. Did you say they're kissing? <laughs> no. Well, I would never. Uh huh. That's one. Not just some of the concept art. Uh, let me give this one more attempt, except without the uh, modifiers, because I kind of held myself last time. <laughs> alright, alright. One actual attempt. What can go wrong? Why are you turning Australian? Because I am Australian. No! Yeah. There you go. Um. Remember, Dacian is a character. 
You are a character. You know, this is a lot nicer when not all the characters are present, but some of them are not included in this demo. And that makes my life easier. I have seen with all of them. Not very many times because you're scared of it. Ooh, wait, maybe I should, uh. Um, comment is ready. Comment is dead. Pineapple! Ding dong, we killed the. Look, cats are scary, okay? Meow. Mm-hmm. Um, I turned everyone on, correct? What? I did. You turned everybody on? Indubitably. Oh my god. No! Um... Wait. Oh wait, the door is open. Wait, when did I open it? You know, I'm a little brain dead. Alright, anyways. <coughs> uh, that is Enemy or Hell Definitive Edition with your little sneaky peeky. Did you do better that time? I did do better that time. Oh, that's good. How? Um, because I didn't have greedy Pac-Man on where you have to grab the fruit twice instead of once, and I forgot about that. Uh... Anywho, this game is going to be hard. <clears throat> Alright, uh, hope you guys like the sneaky peeky. Hope you like what's been going on. More good stuff is brewing. Why Just you wait. Why the D? Why do you like D's? Oh no. Okay, okay. Why okay. do you like D's? No, no, no. All right. Anyways, uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. Peace.